Hey, little kitty, pack your bags. We are going to Komodo Island to see your favorite animal, the Komodo dragon. Oh, no, no, no. I understand your fascination with them. But going anywhere near the Komodo dragon will be too risky. Let me explain that in today's episode by answering a nerve-biting question. What if a Komodo dragon bites you? Zoom in! If you think dragons exist only in folklore and fairy tales, then come to Indonesia's Komodo Island and witness the biggest and heaviest lizards on Earth, the Komodo dragons. These creatures can reach around the length of 10 feet long and can weigh more than 140 kilograms or 300 pounds. With their long tail, flat heads, rounded snouts, scaly skin, curved legs and enormous muscular tails, Komodo dragons rule the region as apex predators who eat almost anything that comes their way, including deer, pigs, and even large water buffalo. While hunting, they tend to camouflage themselves with their surroundings and hide patiently in bushes or tall grasses. Once their prey comes within range, the Komodo dragon pounces on their victim with powerful legs and sharp claws then sink in their shark-like teeth loaded with toxins coming from their venom glands. At times, the prey might pass out instantly due to dropped blood pressure, heavy bleeding and induced shock. But even if the poor prey manages to escape their deadly jaws, unfortunately, they won't be able to survive for long as the Komodo saliva is assumed to contain large amounts of bacteria which poisons their victims, usually within 24 hours. After this, the dragons will patiently follow their bitten prey for miles using their awesome sense of smell to eat the lifeless carcass. Terrifying, isn't it? But what's more terrifying is that humans are fascinated by these giant creatures and often visit their habitat for fun. In that case, a hungry dragon could think of us as a threat and attack us. So to avoid this nightmare, always try to stay around other people and walk on the park's official trekking paths. Because if you leave your group and path, the Komodo hiding behind the bushes are most likely to attack you. Even if you are on a path and group, do not make any sudden movements as this might scare the dragon, triggering an attack. Plus, avoid going on a trek in case you are bleeding as even the slightest smell of blood could attract the crawling dragons towards you as they might think of you as their prey. But if you get lost and come across a hungry dragon charging toward you with a speed of 21 kilometers per hour, then immediately start running in the opposite direction as we can easily outrun them. And if the dragon is too close and you are too tired, then the best option is to start running in a zigzag pattern as the dragon can only run straight ahead. And in a worst case scenario, if the dragon manages to bite you, get medical help without wasting any time. With some wound management and antibiotics, you'll be fine in no time. But fortunately, Komodo dragons rarely attack humans and only do so when bothered. So, it's better to leave them alone and help their diminishing population grow. Trivia time! Did you know 
the scientific name for Komodo dragon is Varanus Komodo Inesis. Also, they are known to eat up to 80% of their body weight in a single feeding. Hope you had fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Look, kitty, a Komodo dragon. Fire! 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 <laughs> Never mind.